Welcome everybody to Level M Diecast. This is a bit of a um, a really fun video for me to do. Um, I just recently picked up this display uh, box full of real toy. Uh, there are several different generations in here. It's not. Uh, it wasn't like a, a sealed uh, store display or anything like that. This is a, a little bit of a mixed bag in here. Um, I have about 40 models. Uh, normally they hold about 36. There's a couple of them on the top. Um, most of them are sealed. Some of them are loose. Um, haven't gone through it super thoroughly yet, but I did pick up the whole thing because I'm never going to pass up on Real Toy. Real Toy is really one of my closet favorite brands of all time. Um, I love Real Toy. I grew up on Real Toy. Um, it was really sad when they kind of left the U.S. market. Um, and they definitely, they definitely don't do it anymore. But um, we're going to go through these. Um, whatever ones are loose, or I should say not sealed, um, I'll pull it out and we'll take a look at it. Um, if they are sealed, um, we're going to leave them sealed, but we'll take a look at them. A uh, couple generations. This is going to be the newer new, newer generation, this package style here. This one up here is going to be the newest of the styles. This one is just like the normal window boxes that you get from Matchbox from the 90s. This one happens to be uh, open. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and crack this up. So there are, like I said, there are several generations of real toy in here. They are going to vary dramatically um, as far as their quality and whatnot. This is a little bit older. Um, this one is pretty good. This is the Jeep Cherokee. You can see this is the Cherokee. It says high performance on it, which is ridiculous. Um, but it's it's decked up. Looks pretty good. It says uh, traveler, campfire, tourist, and visitor on the side. Uh, safari that is a separate piece on the top for the roof rack. Does have a trailer hitch on it. The uh, taillights are done up. Interior looks okay. Not super great, but looks pretty good. Of course, made in China. Uh, nice free rolling. It does not have a uh, suspension or anything like that, but it's a pretty good one. Um, and like I said, this is a little bit older quality, um, which I still think this is really good quality for being a uh, not necessarily a big time name brand. These were sold as a, a budget alternative. Um, and I still think those are really, really good quality. Really, the biggest thing or the main thing I think about Real Toy is just the, uh, the castings that they did. Um, they did some of the best castings. Go. I'm sorry, I couldn't get the box to close. I'll set that one to the back. This is an Audi TT. Look at the quality there. It looks fantastic. They all have full details on them. So headlights and taillights printed up. This particular one doesn't necessarily have the taillights done because the cart is red. This one is sealed, unfortunately. But this is the window boxes and the stuff that they came in. There is your uh, assortment number or however they worked it. Um, I did pay four bucks a piece for these. So it was definitely not cheap, um, but some of these real toy castings go for a pretty decent amount of money, uh, some of them. Um, some of them are just really, really, really hard to find. This is an RS4, Audi RS4 in blue. Um, this one is a particularly nice one. Uh, that one is unfortunately sealed as well. You see there is tape on there. So they did tape them up, uh, but these are just awesome. It's just... Really, really rare uh, castings here. You know, stuff that really nobody did in 164 scale. Um, and I think I have uh, another color of this. I think I have a yellow one too. Not in this mix, but I do have a yellow one. Uh, this is GTR. So obviously these ones are not that old because you know, GTR has been around for mm, about 10 years or so. Uh, this one didn't get the greatest uh, spray on there. You'll see the uh, little vents on there have quite a bit of overspray, which is unfortunately... Uh, this one is also sealed as well, but that one looks pretty decent in yellow. Just wish the spray was a little bit better on it, but it looks like a pretty good casting. So I haven't seen a GTR very often. Uh, Audi Q7. I think this one is the Q7, the bigger one. Um, Audi SUV. Again, not a casting you see from anybody. Now, Welly, Welly probably will make most of these castings currently. Um, but at the time, you know, these were these were pretty unique uh, choices. That one is sealed as well. Um, but I really like that one. That Audi Q7 looks fantastic. Nissan 370Z. Now, they did have a later version of these, you know, Action City type stuff. And they came out with these ugly bling wheels. Um, I actually have a focus up there. We'll take a look at it. Um, that was kind of a, a later run that was sold at Tesco stores in the U.K., 
Um, but this one, um, this one looks good. I like the wheels. I think the wheels are pretty good. Again, decos on it looks, uh, you know, pretty good. Left hand drive, so that's always a good thing. This one is uh, sealed as well. I think most of the ones without the flap on it are probably going to be sealed. Uh, Mercedes Benz GLK. Uh, this is a relatively rare casting. Um, it's actually pretty rare from Real Toy. They didn't do uh, too many of these. I think only did a couple of colors. Um, this is the first time I've ever seen the black one. So couldn't tell you if the black one was offered in a multi-pack or not, but it is here. Definitely not a uh, common casting. I don't know of anybody else who's made a GLK. This one is sealed as well, um, but it looks fantastic. I think you guys can agree. I know it's in the box. You know, it's in the box. Normally we open everything, but uh, Real Toy is a it's a different it's a different animal. All right, this is a Toyota van. I forget what this van is called, um, but I actually found one of these in a dump bin one time, and it was. It was chipped up, but it wasn't too bad. Um, so I'm really, really happy to get one that's mint. This one is right-hand drive, which is super, super cool. Um, definitely not a casting you really will see from hardly anybody else. You know, maybe Tomica might make something like this. Um, but uh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I like it a lot. That's super cool. I like the unique castings, really unique ones. All right, this is the uh, BMW X6 in black. Again, not a common casting. Um, I'm not sure of anybody else who's made it 164 scale, uh, but this one in black looks pretty good. Again, sealed up. I do believe we're going to have some that are loose, so don't worry. I'll be able to pull some of them out and take a look at them, so don't you fret. This one is especially nice. I really like this. This is the Mercedes-Benz E-Class. Um, I really, really like this one. This one in white is just so clean. It's so perfect. The casting is insane. I wish I could have several of these so I can do some wheel swaps on it because the wheel is not bad, but I, I would prefer a better wheel on it. But the casting is so good. It's such a good casting. Just perfect on the size chart. It's just perfect. It's perfect width, perfect length. The dimensions look good. Details look good. Um, I just, I love it. I love it. This one, unfortunately, is sealed as well. All right, so this is one of the later ones I was talking about. So this is still a real toy, but this was sold as uh, this brand called Fuel Line Mini Series. This was sold at Tesco stores uh, in the UK. Uh, we don't have Tesco stores here in the US, but somehow this one made its way here. This is the Focus, uh, might be an RS, like an older generation RS. Um, those are those ugly bling wheels I was telling you about. I don't know why they had to switch their wheels and go to those ugly wheels, but the casting's really nice. It actually has a several piece interior on it. It's kind of difficult to see, but there's some red seats and stuff in there. Um, there's a separate dash, which is kind of interesting. Um, and of course it's fully decoed on the outside. So this was sold as, you know, the cheapy kind of thing. And it's actually, uh, detailed more than, uh, anything that we get here. Uh, in the U.S. as a basic range model, which is insane. All right, first generation Porsche Panamera in like a metallic uh, steel blue, which looks pretty good. This one is sealed as well. I do like the wheels. They look a little beefy on this casting, but I do like the wheels. The casting, again, looks fantastic. I know that the headlights and taillights are basic colors, but the, the print, the fact that there's print on there makes a big, big difference. Um, especially in the back, not so much in the front, but definitely in the back, um, really, really brings out the casting, you know, normal size, normal stuff we get nowadays doesn't even have that. All right. I don't know of anybody who makes a hard top BMW Z8, um, or at least a removable hard top. Uh, this one looks fantastic. This one does have a little bit of, uh, some flaws. If you look there on the hood inside, there's a little bit of overspray, uh, unfortunately, but this casting is fantastic. I think this one is opened. Yep, this one is opened. So finally going to be able to crack one, take a look at it. See, this one has tried to bend open many, many, many times. So we'll just pop that over there. Take a look at our Z8. Oh, look at that. It was just uh, debris in the box. Very, very nice. So there is your Z8. Look at all the details on the front. This was just standard real toy. This is just their standard stuff. This is how they did things. Print on the side with the BMW logo. 
Full deets on the back, looks fantastic. Says Z8 on the plate. Then there's your base deets. Of course, it says Real Toy, made in China. Everything's made in China, which is nothing wrong with that. Everything made in China. This one looks really, really good, though. I mean, just awesome, awesome quality. I think maybe someday I might open all my Real Toy, um, but I would have to put them in a really nice display. I would have to get a a carney acrylic display to put these in these need to these need and deserve to be in a very very nice high quality display all right this one is a uh emergency unit um i think this one is a modified casting um i don't think this is a licensed one. Oh, it's this one's loose too we'll take a look at it so we'll pull this out so this one has been modified see there's nothing on the base but it is pretty much kind of like an S-Class, but it is a generic, which is pretty rare. Um, this is, a, it's not bad. I actually kind of like this one, uh, even though it's a generic. It's still really, really good quality. The quality is very good. The prints are very good. Um, still got the really nice wheels on it. No extra print on the back, but it's got a little bit of print on the top and the hood. And then, of course, the full front with the white bumper which is kind of cool but uh yeah it's totally an s class but uh not not licensed this might have been towards a later run where they um had to modify some castings maybe a license ran out or something like that at one point in time i thought push and go meant that there was little motors in there i was like that's terrible but that's that's not the way it is it's just push them to go to drive all right next one up this is the volkswagen Torig. Um, another casting that I don't know of anybody else who's made in 164. Um, this one in silver, they did several colors for this one. Um, kind of interesting, as you can see, the headlights aren't done up, but the model's silver, and normally they're silver painted, so I guess they just skip it if it's the exact same color. Uh, but again, very good casting, looks very, very good. Um, I'm sure somebody has made a Torig in 164 scale, but this is the first generation Torig, and, um... I like it. Looks fantastic. This one is unfortunately sealed as well. Uh, first generation Porsche Cayenne. Uh, this was the very, very original. Uh, there was a midlife update. So this has the um, essentially uh, like the 996 style headlights. Um, but it's a really good casting. It's a really good casting. Again, looking fantastic. Looks a lot like the Torig, which of course it does. Um, but I still like it. Looks fantastic. And of course, it's Porsche. So always take a Porsche for sure. Let's throw that guy up there. Uh, we do have some service trucks. They didn't do just all vehicles. They did some service trucks. Uh, this one is a cement truck, which looks fantastic. They were, um, you know, they used a basic chassis and they put a bunch of uh, parts on the back of it, which is pretty common for most uh, manufacturers. I mean, even Majorette does that nowadays. They have like a man chassis and a Volvo chassis and they make it a dump truck. They make it a cement truck, whatever they want to make it. Uh, this one is opened. So we'll go ahead and take a look at this one. So this one is a licensed casting. This is a man, which looks fantastic. Full decos on the front, which look really, really good. Prints on the side. I don't mind the wheels. They're a little bit too blingy for a uh, construction equipment look at that. that that rotates that's oops it's all right it just snaps on there not a big deal just snap that back on there there we go and then of course the drum rotates which rotates very 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 well <laughs> ridiculously well um and then just a little bit of print on the top as well nothing fancy on the base of course the model is mostly metal screwed together with one rivet that's pretty cool i didn't realize that that little uh shoot in the back was going to open up so that's super super cool and again this was considered the cheap one the cheap toys you know the the dollar type cars you know probably weren't a dollar they were probably like a couple of dollars um you know stuff in europe is a little bit higher inflation stuff this one looks pretty good as well this one is a gasoline tanker this one is sealed unfortunately uh, but it is the same chassis but it does say gasoline on the back that is a sticker on the tank, but the rest of the truck is printed. That one looks pretty good. So this, most of these were sold here in the U.S. at a hobby shop. 
um because i can re i i recognize the uh price tag here the original price tag sorry about that um so these were sold here locally but um these were imported um they were not a normal item this is a trash truck says in environmental excellence that one looks especially good. A little bit of extra overspray for the black. A little bit too much spray there, but looks still pretty good. Uh, this one is uh, unfortunately sealed. I thought it was opened. Um, but the back opens up. Um, it does not tilt, but I know for a fact the back opens up. So that is pretty cool. It's the exact same chassis. Again, the same man truck. And then they did a box truck, um, which probably has opening doors. Is this one open? Unfortunately, that one's not open, but it says Speed Courier, same day delivery, it has a number on there, 610 888 -00121, which of course it's not a real number, uh, but that is still pretty cool. Again, just the same man chassis, but it's different enough. Now, this is just an assorted box. This obviously wouldn't come in there. This is the kind of stuff that you see more recent, more current day. Um, it is sold as Darren. Uh, and they do a lot of promotional stuff. So there's a lot of NYC. They do some FD and Y stuff. Um, they also do some stuff for UPS. These are all promotional items. Uh, Ford Crown Victoria. Uh, let's see. This one is open. So we'll pull this Crown Vic out, which looks fantastic. Does have a chrome grill, uh, which is a separate piece. Light bar is a separate piece as well. It says NYP on the side, of course. There is a unit number on there. It is $25.85. So that looks pretty cool. And then, of course, the rear end is decoed up. Looks pretty decent. Some details on the bottom. Actually says Ford Crown Victoria. Some, you know, little, little things there to prove that it's an authentic New York City licensed item. Which, of course, you do have your Ford logo here and your New York logo here. Uh, which is ridiculous on on a cheap items. This stuff is ridiculous. It's ridiculous that New York has to have a uh, seal of authenticity, which is just, it just blows me away. It's absolutely ridiculous. I feel like New York sells their logos more than they they do anything else. It's more of a more of a brand. It's kind of like um, kind of like uh, Harley Davidson. So man, sometimes these boxes just don't want to cooperate. There we go. Uh, they also did a five pack, which has like. Uh, a department of, of transport dump truck and some other stuff in there. They have a parks and rec truck in there, um, but they did five packs as well. But that one just happened to be mixed in here. Much, much older generation real toy. This one is open so we can take a look at this. Uh, this is more on the older generation like the uh, first one we looked at, that Jeep Cherokee. Um, these were some very interesting castings. Some of these were. Uh, they were still fully decoed up. It's just kind of a very interesting take on it. Uh, this does open up. Um, let's see if I can get the side to open up. There we go. Uh, nothing in there, but it does open up. Just a little bit of a play value. Uh, just a you know soda delivery type of truck. All the orange is metal, and then just this back section is plastic. But the tube thing here is all stickers, and everything else is printed up on the actual truck. Of course, real toy on the bottom. So these were less quality uh, back in the day, but these were also still very, very detailed, um, but they were kind of ugly. And most of them were not licensed items. Um, that's kind of what they did. And a lot of the stuff was uh, sold at Toys R Us um, under the actual uh, real toy Action City brand name, which was kind of cool. Uh, there is another Audi RS4. This one is definitely open because it's in the wrong direction. So... I already knew that one was open, so we definitely get to check out a brilliant RS4. Look at the details on this one. All the print looks absolutely fantastic in yellow. Even has all the black print around the windows. I think the wheels look good. Nice heft to it. It says Audi RS4 on the back. It's got your S4 logo. Uh, RS4 on the trunk as well. Interior is pretty well detailed. I do like that a lot. The paint looks pretty good. And then the base deeds looks fantastic. 159th scale for this particular one. They even have a little bit of print uh, for the diffuser on the back. So just a really, really good amount of detail um, for a really, really, really good casting. So we're going to put this guy back in there uh, in the correct direction. Get all these flaps to work together. There we go. 
I, I never understood how these boxes were actually, you know, useful for packaging because they seem like they would be just a, a nightmare to fold up. All right, another one uh, that's newer from New York City, New York City Taxi. I think this one is open. This one is open. So this is the Nissan NV. So crack our little screwdriver guy to help us get the box flap. So I absolutely hate box flaps. They drive me absolutely nuts. Pop that guy out of there. Ooh, there we go. There is your Nissan NV. Wow, that thing's actually really decoed up. Look at that. Plate is done up. It looks fantastic. A little bit of print on the hood. Not exactly sure what that's for. This is New York City on it. Uh, the cab number light on the top is also printed up, which looks fantastic. There is your deets on the side. Of course, you know, airport service and all that good stuff like that. A little bit of over print on there. More print on the back. Looks fantastic. It says Nissan on it. Prints on the bottom look good. Of course, made in China. Nissan NV200. This one's actually really cool. I actually really like this one a lot. It's a little bit big for uh, what it is in real life. I mean, this probably wouldn't look as well next to something else, but uh, that's really, really cool. That's really, really cool. I definitely had to get that one for sure. Uh, Nissan NV, another casting that uh, you just don't see uh, anywhere. All right, this is older. So this is an older wheel style. It has kind of a, a thicker tire on it. This is, of course, the Volkswagen New Beetle. Uh, this one is sealed, uh, but in blue. Of course, it has all the same prints all the way around. Very realistic, very good looking. Just the deets on the box, nothing fancy. These ones must have been bought from somewhere else, uh, differently from the rest of them. Uh, another Audi TT, this one in black. Box is a little bit beat up on this one. This one is still sealed, unfortunately, though. But this one looks pretty good. I like the black color. Not a big fan of those wheels. I think the newer wheels were better. See, they went from that wheel to that, you know, five-spoke wheel, which looks really good. The bling wheel was just a, just a horrible decision to do. All right, this one is definitely open. We're just going to get right into this one. A Suzu Viha Cross. Uh, so this has been made. As a matter of fact, Hot Wheels made one as well. But it don't look this good. Um, this one has the nice off-road wheels on it. Uh, nice two-tone for all the uh, body cladding on the side in black. All the prints on the side look fantastic. Of course, it says V-Cross on the side. Prints on the back. Got your plate on there as well. Plate looks fantastic. Really good details on this one. Absolutely fantastic. Marker lights and everything. It says a Suzu in the front. A little bit of offset color on the hood as well. Even has the uh, roof rails painted up. Which looks fantastic. A little bit of a paint rub here from rolling around in that box for eternity. Uh, these things are probably, these ones right here are probably t over 20 years old, uh, more than likely. There is your uh, base deets. I think it looks fantastic. Absolutely, absolutely just phenomenal. It was such a good casting. The prints are really, really good as well. Hobbles didn't make anything near as good as that thing. So we'll put that guy back in there in the correct direction again. Throw him up there. All right. First generation Land Rover Discovery. I think this one is open. Yep, this one is open. We'll take a look at this one. And get the box to cooperate. Man, I hate these flaps, man. They just they hold on there. They don't want to open up. It drives me absolutely berserk. Oh, so good. A bit of debris in there. Get that off of there. There is your first generation Land Rover, which looks fantastic. Prints on the front, you know, pretty basic prints, but I think they are perfect. Again, not a huge fan of this wheel, but I think it was perfectly fine. Tail lights done up. That is a separate piece for the wheel cover in the back. It's chrome, which is interesting choice to make it chrome. Uh, the uh, Safari windows are just painted with silver. It's not actually part of the interior window, but it does have the the two. Um, uh, sunroofs there, which looks good. Base deets are pretty basic, you know, pretty pretty un, uneventful, I should say. Uh, but again, the interior looks pretty nice. The dashboard is separate from the rest of the interior. Dashboard is black. The rest of the interior is gray. So that is pretty cool. 
I really like that casting. Land Rover casting is actually pretty good. So we'll throw that guy in there. Oop. Let's go back in the box. Mm. There we go. There we go. Mm. All right. All right, speaking of Land Rover, this is a little bit older generation version of that casting. This one has a separate wheel on it. Um, is this one opened? Oh, yes, it's opened. Oh, my gosh. Super stoked. So happy. Ah, oh, look how good. Look how good it looks decoed up for racing. It says Auto Works on it. Different prints for the headlights and stuff. Different wheels on there. It's still a plastic wheel, but it's a... It's like a two-piece wheel with a uh, chrome insert, which looks absolutely fantastic. Definitely done up like rally racing. Looks fantastic. I just, you know, you guys know I like race cars. There is the deets in the back. It says Motorsport on the plate. Oh, man, so good. This one is so much better than the black one. But it's still the same casting. It's just the deco looks fantastic. Uh, a little bit, little bit easier to see the inside just because it's white. So it kind of... Um, Gives off a little bit more reflection. There is a name on there. If anybody knows that name, drop a comment. Let me know. I'm sure it has to be some kind of racer. It's got to be real. Um, hopefully. But that one is really good. I really like that one a lot. It's really, really nice. All right. Another color for the V-Cross. This one in uh, kind of a maroon color. But it has all the same details, same deco and all that kind of stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. I'm glad I got a second color. Um, I don't know if I've ever seen the maroon one. I've seen the silver one before. Actually, I might already have the silver one, but we'll see. Uh, Jaguar uh, X-Type, I believe, is what this one is. It's the larger Jaguar. It's not the Jaguar that's uh, based on the like Mazda 6 Taurus uh, chassis or anything like that. So it may not be an X-Type, maybe a uh, S-Type. There we go. Jaguar S-Type, that's what it was. Um, this one looks fantastic. Oh, this one's open, so take a look at this guy. So they get that right. Uh, it doesn't say. Doesn't say. But it is the S type. There's your quad headlights with your center mounted grill. So I have decent sized casting. It's a little bit uh scrunched, a little bit, a little bit short. Uh, but it looks good in silver. Just basic headlight and tail light details on here. Side mirrors are a little bit big. Um, but again, not a not really a casting you're gonna see from anybody else. Um this one's not that great of a casting. It's it's definitely a bit smushed, but uh, still a very unique one. Still a very unique casting for sure. Kind of interesting that that one seems to be open over some of these other ones. All right, this one's definitely going to be open. This is your uh, Range Rover, um, Land Rover Range Rover. Um, let's see here. So this is after the Range Rover Classic. So the generation after that. So I just, I just annihilated that box, but the box is kind of already annihilated. There we go. Just trying to get the flap open. It's a little, little beat up. This particular one seems to have been opened a lot for some reason. So there is your Land Rover. That one looks pretty good. They also made a, uh, I think it's just, I think it's just Land Rover, Range Rover, or Range Rover, Range Rover. I don't know. There is the base deets on this one. The prints look pretty good. I'm uh, not really a fan of the fact that they didn't print the top of the taillights. Looks kind of weird. Uh, but it does have a nice uh, cover for the cargo area there in the back, which is kind of cool. Again, separate dash versus the interior. Full prints on the front. Looks fantastic. It's kind of a, um, it's, it's pretty pretty much purple. May look blue on the screen, but I assure you it's, uh, it's pretty purple, um, which is kind of an interesting color. There's a lot of print on the side. Um, for all that uh, trim and the door handles and the side marker lights and all that kind of stuff like that. So, again, a very, very cool casting. Definitely going to see this casting popping up. Um, everybody is jumping on the uh, Land Rover bandwagon these days, especially like Tarmac and, and all those up, uppity brands. So, that was pretty cool. Get that guy in the correct direction. All right, F-250. Might be an F-350. F-250. Uh, this one in yellow, just the single cab, long bed. The bed is painted silver on the inside, full decos on the front, decos on the side. Again, not a casting that is very common uh, whatsoever. This is the same one they used for the New York City 
uh, Parks and Rec truck. It's in green in the five pack, uh, but this is one of the older ones in yellow, which looks fantastic. Oop, this one's open. Didn't realize. They just pulled it out in the first place. The front end is a little smashed. Why they decided to paint the headlights red, I will never, ever know. Um, that is not added on from somebody. That is literally painted red. Um, oof. That definitely kills the front end. They should have been painted white for sure. Um, but the grill looks pretty good. It does say Ford in the grill. That's actually a really, really nice print. The casting is a little smushed. Obviously, this is a relatively larger truck. Chrome base on this one just says Ford F-Series. A um, lot of metal. It's, it's relatively heavy. A uh, little squished in the back. The taillights and stuff don't look that good. Prints are not that great. Uh, but it does say F-250 on it. It's a pretty cool casting. It's a, I mean, it's unique. It's not the best casting, but uh, there's not too many of F-250s. I don't know if there's any F-250s in uh, 164 scale, but I could be proven wrong. All right, another version of the F-Series. Let's just go ahead and see. Ooh, this one's open, so we're just going to go through this. This is a different casting entirely. This one is the extended bed, um, which I think is just way too small. They do have a second door handle on the outside, like it's a quad cab. Um, but that just doesn't look right. This, this casting definitely doesn't look right at all. Uh, it does say 4x4 four four on the side, though. Again, just a different casting. Same front end details on it, though. Get that to focus a little bit. Do apologize about that. Uh, this is just red because the casting's red. Um, I just I think it's ridiculous that they wanted red headlights. This one, the prints on the back look better. They just do. Door handle done up. And then, of course, the Ford logo on there looks pretty good. No paint in the bed. It has some little stubs here. I don't know if they ever made a topper or anything like that, but they could have. Again, just Ford F-Series with the chrome base. So, super cool. Throw that guy in there. Getting down to the nitty gritties. All right, Lexus SC. This one is opened. We'll take a look at this one. Uh, Lexus SC with the top up. Again, a, not a, a common casting. Now, there has been uh, SC castings done in 164 scale, but I think they're all race cars. Um, Kyosho may have done one or two, potentially, but... Uh, yeah, the SC is definitely rare uh, in 164 scale for sure. This one with the top up. I think if most people did the SC, they'd probably do it with the top down. There is your prints on the front. Look pretty good. Does say Lexus on it, of course. Dark metallic green. This one is right-hand drive, which is very, very cool. Very, very nice color. There you go. Your SC430 says 159 scale. I like it. I like it. Just, you know, Real Toy just made some very... Very unique casting choices, which I think was just really, really cool. So we'll get that one. I just don't understand where it's getting caught on. There we go. All right, this is the C-Class Coupe, or this might be the CLS. Uh, I'm not sure. This one's seen, oh, it's definitely open. You can always tell because they're facing the wrong direction. That's how I can tell that they're open. So there's your CLK Coupe. 159 scale in a kind of a cerulean blue that is print for the grill which looks fantastic says mercedes-benz that double quad headlight always kind of a controversial look definitely not one of the more beautiful eras of of mercedes-benz for sure definitely not there is the deets on the back which looks fantastic it says clk on it tail lights look fantastic i really like this casting it looks really good this one has a one-piece interior. It's perfectly fine. Left-hand drive. So get that guy back in there in the correct direction. Get the flaps to hopefully close. There we go. Volkswagen bus. This one... Ooh, this one's open too. Seems to have all the open ones at the end, I guess. I'm just not... Oh. Different style of box sits in there in like a like a little tray. So there is your Volkswagen bus. It is not a 21 window bus, but it is a multi window bus. Looks pretty good. Prints on the front look pretty good. It says Samba van on the plate. Get that to hopefully focus a little bit. There we go. 
Prints on the front look good. Of course, two-tone does have a red interior, which is very interesting. Wheel choice, again, very odd. But, uh, you know, they're just pulling parts from the parts bin. Pretty detailed base on it. It says Volkswagen Microbus. That one's pretty cool. A little bit of extra print on the top for the rag top and soft top. It looks pretty good. I was kind of wondering if there was really going to be much of Volkswagen in here other than, like, the Touareg. And, of course, the Beetle, the new Beetle. Uh, speaking of Volkswagen, look at that. We have a classic Volkswagen. 62 Beetle, is this open? Nope, that one is sealed. That one does have a chrome base. Looks pretty good. Kind of a darker green. Casting is a little bit, little bit short. Um, but it looks pretty good. I do like that one. Last two models in the mix. There is that Z8. This one's got to be open because it's facing the wrong direction, which it is. Let's see if we can get this open without annihilating the box. There we go. So this has those ugly bling wheels. I think you can admit that these wheels are absolutely terrible. Not sure why they switched to this wheel. I really just don't get it. It's just a really, really terrible wheel. But again, that Z8 coupe with the hard top. This one in kind of a... Uh, Metallic yellow. I'm trying to get that to focus a little bit. There we go. You know, we've already taken a look at one of these castings, but it looks pretty good in the yellow. You can, I think you can uh, agree with me that it looked way better with the other wheels. But, um, I don't know, some people like chrome. Me, I'm personally not a fan of chrome. I really don't like chrome. So, I don't like chrome so much that I've removed all the chrome badging on, uh, on my truck. Uh, changed it to black. All right, this is another E-Class. This is an older generation E-Class. And, of course, it's facing the wrong way, so we already know we can take a look at this one. So we'll pull this guy out. So this was the previous generation E-Class from the first one we looked at. This one happens to be the E55 AMG, which is absolutely fantastic. Look how good this casting looks. This casting is, like, flawless. It's so good. It's so good. And then the deets on the back... It says E55 AMG. I think the other one was also an E55 AMG or E63 AMG is probably what it was. Um, just a really, really good casting though. It looks absolutely fantastic. This one is 161 scale. Just says MBE55 AMG. It's abbreviating it, which is fine. Um, and the plastic feels pretty good. Always wanted to say that. You know, the plastic, always tell generic plastic and whatnot. So there you go. That is the whole mix. And pop that back in there. Hopefully. Just come on. We'll figure that one out later. So I don't have a top whatever amount uh, for these. Um, but I like them all equally. But uh, I don't know. You guys can let me know what you like or don't like. But uh, I'm a huge fan of Real Toy. And I'm just really happy that I was able to find these. And now I can bring them to the channel. Um, now, I this is not the first time we're seeing a display case like this. I already have one of these display cases. It's a little bit newer, so there's a there's quite a bit of the bling wheel ones in it. I will link that video um, at the end. You guys can go check that out if you want to watch me go through another 36 count case. Um, but seeing that we're pushing enough 40 minutes, if you're still here, you truly are, you truly are a fan of either the channel or Real Toy, one of the two for sure. But I'll get those all packed in there. Um, what, I guess one of my favorites is definitely going to be that guy. Definitely like that guy. And that guy does, just doesn't want to close. So we're going to roll out. Appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Catch you next time here on Level M. Peace.